hello guys in this video we will use aspen plus to model a batch reactor so first of all we will open the aspen plus and have a look at the reaction pda reacts with two moles of ethyl hexanol to make dotp and two moles of water so we have four components involved in the reaction uh, before going into the uh, simulation i will uh, like to tell you that you need this information before you can complete your simulation of batch reaction uh, you need reaction uh, reaction kinetics you need your material balance and uh, uh, temperature and other conditions uh, which are necessary for the reaction to take place uh, you cannot complete your uh, batch uh, reaction simulation without this data so first of all we will enter our components we have water then we have PTA check your molecular weight to make sure you are selecting the right component then we have two ethyl hexanol it is basically a complete name two ethyl hexanol don't miss up you see we directly find out now finally we have dioctyl tartalate our main product okay so we, we will click on the next button we have to select method any one of you who previously used any simulation software of chemical engineering is probably aware of these methods uh, you need to uh, use accurate appropriate method for your system it varies from reaction system from one reaction system to another reaction system uh, basically you, uh, you can study your uh, methods in method assistant or you can use google uh, to select perfect method for your system you basically need thermodynamics data and thermodynamics equation uh, whatever just use google i will make a separate video on this topic how to select an appropriate method uh, for your system now we will click next either click this next again click next done property analysis ok now it will be carrying processing input specifications to generate whatever the database is in, uh, it needs for your system now we will move it into our simulation system we are basically designing a simulating a batch reactor so we will add our our batch we will add our input stream red one is our process stream and blue one is our utility stream we are not using their precise data by uh, putting utility stream or something something else we are just putting in the uh, process stream now some of you might be thinking we have we are using a batch reaction batch reactor basically why we are uh, putting in the input stream i think as far as i know about this aspen plus there is no way to add a batch stream or batch directly without putting in continuous stream so we will use our mm, mass basis in, uh, by putting all the mass per in per hour form i, I mean all the, all the batch in kg per hour form for example i have 19000 kg batch I will put 19,000 kg per hour, uh, neglecting the per hour addition. We have the reaction temperature of 220 degree C. It will vary for your case, as as you are uh, already probably aware of it. We have a reaction taking place at atmospheric conditions. Now we don't have water and dioxide in our input input batch, but we have. We do have alcohol and terphthalate, terphthalic acid. Okay, I 
probably have this information already i carried out this simulation earlier 0.63 you will get this information from your material balance <coughs> i think i don't have to remind it again and again you you need your material balance before you can design a simulate your reactor in i am basically using 10% extra alcohol uh, which was recommended by the patent owner to get efficient high efficiency of reaction conversion now we are in the reactor which is the main uh, specification area we will be simulating our reactor as a constant temperature vessel constant temperature reactor taking place at 220 degree centigrade taking reaction and one atm pressure catalyst loading in our case is 33 kg you will get all this information from your reaction kinetics data which is in my case is already specified i use google and various research papers to get this data you know that you, you need first order second order reaction kinetics data you study various regression models to calculate these values now we are in the reaction section most of uh, i i most of us are and including me i got confused in this portion how to design a reaction or how to insert a reaction in a spn plus so i i use various uh, sources and books and videos to learn how to create your own custom reaction in spn plus it is not so difficult basically i call this reaction as r1 now i will select power law model power law type to specify my reaction i don't know uh, how to use other model i basically will use power law in my case maybe you know better better models for reactions then i do so you can try other model basically this is reactant section this is product section i am Uh, simulating my reaction as kinetic not an equilibrium reaction that later react with two ethyl hexanal to make what is it doing diacetyl tetrahedral and water okay so we are simulating it as with respect to products okay Uh, rate equation with respect to products yeah, yeah it means that we have minus 1 minus 2 1 one exponent its coefficient is 1 its coefficient is 2 one mole of tetrahedral reacts with two moles of two ethyl hexanal to make one mole of dotp and two moles of water exponent in case of product is 00 and in case of uh, reactor it is 11 okay click on next so our react, uh, reaction is already there now we need to enter is enter some information we need to enter the value of k which in our case is 2.228 2.228. It uh, it has a unit of power R. We don't need to mention that. And we have an activation with the of kilojoule 240.22 kilojoule per mole. You can specify it at 220 degree centigrade and leave the N as zero. Now click on next button. Okay. Now we are in the reactor again. double click on the reaction or simply arrow button now you can uh, you can select your own stop stopping criteria for react batch reactor but i will specify time as a variable for as a mean of stopping the reaction uh, stop value 4 hours basically i will allow it to react for 4 hours which i already calculated myself it is not based just on assumptions i have already calculated the appropriate value is around i will show you where did i calculate 
see uh, from first order react uh, read equation i could calculate the theoretical time required for the reaction to be almost 4 hours 3.89 almost 4 hours okay which uh, i it is already specified no need to specify anything else total cycles time hey you can you can see its description use for all the fields must be entered reactor cycle time what if we specify batch we doing total cycle time you can call it as 4 hours okay now maximum calculation time 2 hours time interval between profile points 10 no 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 maximum number of points leave it to be 3 okay now click next it is saying all the required input is already complete so we will run the simulation by pressing okay results available with warnings warnings during let us see our steam summary to see what are the warnings oh yes our i i think our modeling is almost complete you see that 41.849 kilo mole is formed uh, multiplying by um, 390 390 is the molecular weight of dioxide third plate which is 15990 which is very close to our 16.67 ton of dotp almost 67 kg is lost um, uh, there can be several reasons for that we can try adjusting our kinetics we can try modifying our steam conditions and uh, various parameters to get best results so here was our modeling of batch reactor i hope so you enjoyed the video my english uh, accent is not very good and as you have already noticed we are not uh, native englishman basically Ho hope so you will like subscribe and share our channel wait for our next video take care goodbye